All right, so here we are starting up. If you want to read through kind of the premise of what we're doing there, go ahead and uh, pause it as soon as she gets a good angle on it there. Okay. Okay. But we're just going to go ahead and select the investigators we've got. We have her and her. Him. <laughs> Whatever. Right. Whatever. We don't judge around here. True. And he can be however he identifies. True. All right. Again, starting items. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. That's way different than the stuff we had last time. We realized that if we uh, didn't go through the setup, you couldn't see the awesome intro dealy. So let's fix it up here. We don't have magnifying glass, holy water, or the ritual dagger anymore. So that's all out. Yeah, the only candles. thing the same is the candles. Uh, kerosene lantern. Rabbit's foot. No rabbit's foot. Holy cross. Shriveling. My brain's already really good, so you can take the cross. Okay. I guess we'll each take one of the light sources. Okay, I... Oh, yeah, okay. I'm having a hard time with this. Oh, yeah? How unfortunate. Well, I have one hand. <laughs> okay. Pocket watch. There. Ooh, uh, additional what puzzle about step. instill bra Oh, instill bravery is a spell. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I need that because you're already good at puzzles. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's okay. instill bravery. What about the fire extinguisher? Do we see that anywhere? No. But it could be in one of these piles. Because <laughs> okay. I tend to have a weird way of separating things. Fire extinguisher, got it. Oh, it puts out fire and it's oh. a weapon. Cool. Um, I, I kind of have a weapon, so I guess we'll do it. Must okay, shrivel. Candles, master. holy cross, and still bravery, fire extinguisher, shriveling kerosene lantern, and pocket watch. Okay, and we each okay. get one clue, which we already have. Yep. All right, continue setup. All right, here we go. Here's the really interesting. Nice little quote here. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity. And it was not meant that we should voyage far. Do, do, do. <laughs> Every scenario begins with an H.P. Lovecraft quote. She's usually so calm. As your car barrels down the dirt road, you wonder what could have frightened her enough to call you out to her isolated country estate. As you approach the turn for the property, your headlights go out and something strikes the side of your automobile with a sickening crunch. The vehicle veers off the road and crashes into the ditch. Unable to get the car started again, you head out on foot and make your way through the woods towards Grace's home. The darkness presses in around you. And you get the uneasy feeling something is watching you from the trees. You emerge from the forest in front of the massive estate and ring the bell. It chimes loudly in the quiet night. Grace opens the door almost immediately. Quiet! It's attracted to sound. We've got to get out of here. Where's your car? As you break the news to her, Grace's expression changes to despair. No. Oh. What are we going to do now? My entire family is here. And that... That creature... It's hunting us. Okay. Yep. So. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. It's even a different tile than when we had set this up in advance. Well, no. No, because... Okay. There. What? I set it up this way because when I set up the app on my phone when I originally set up our game, I had to take a thing out because I selected a thing that we didn't have. Um, I don't know if you have that selected on there. Unless you changed it. I don't think I did because it changed. Well, so let's find the tile. <laughs> okay. What? Nothing. Pile, pile. There it is. Okay, so we need that guy. Whoops. 
get all this off of here. Okay. I've never shown you guys a setup before. Grace beckons you into the lobby of the estate. The dim electric lights flicker, casting ominous shadows across the room. Place the lobby tile and walls as indicated. Alright, so we got, uh, is this another wall? Nope, that's a bookcase or something. Let's see, alright, so. so. It's technically a wall, yeah, just not the matchy matchy one. It's fine. Okay, so we start here. And it's Grace turns to you, her eyes wide and flashing in the dim light. I know you have dealt with this sort of thing before. There has to be something you can do to help my family. You have access to anything on my property if it can help save us. I'll be right here if you need me. Place a person token as indicated. This is Grace Beckham. Beckman. At the top of the stairs to the right, a table holds photographs of Grace's family. Place a search token. And another small table sits in the corner at the top of the stairs to the left. Place the search token. And we've got an explorer right there. Uh, sounds of piano to our left, okay. Heavy shelf right there. So we can use it to barricade if we want. Mm-hmm. Two other doors lead further into the mansion. Okay. Alright, and we're set up. So... Let's see, one of us probably ought to talk to Grace. I think the other one should go check out piano. Piano, huh? Um... Well, if the thing's attracted to sound. All right, well, I'm a piano-liking guy, so okay. you want to talk to Grace? Yeah, I'll talk to Grace. Okay. Oof. Grace nervously fiddles with her green necklace as she greets you. I am so sorry that calling you out here got you stuck in this mess with us. We have to get out of this together. Uh, what option would you like? What's going on? Okay. Grace looks close to tears, but keeps a calm demeanor. It started as a couple of weird occurrences here and there after we got back from vacation. But over days, it got worse. The serving staff and my family say they have seen a monster. Most of the serving staff have quit, and members of my family have been attacked. Gain one clue. Mm. Oh, you could do the yeah. other option, too. Alright, I'll take my second action to do that. Okay. How can I help? An old manuscript of mine should be in the basement. Could you find it and bring it to me? It w could be invaluable in dealing with the creature. Well, I will keep my eye out for it. Hmm, that okay. is oddly suspicious. Well, yeah, 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 that didn't happen. <laughs> and so on. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to explore towards the piano. Yep. Ooh, got a big old room. Okay. Through the doorway, a brightly lit ballroom takes up a large portion of the front of the house. The light from a large chandelier glints off the parquet floor. Discard this explore token and place the ballroom tile and a door as indicated. Okay, so we get rid of this explore token here. And go a tile digging. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so the peony goes in the upper left corner, the upper right corner there. And we need a doorway. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Looks oh, like little girl. a small girl playing a somber melody from a piece of sheet music. She looks up at you. Hello, my name is Mildred. Who are you? Place a person token Mildred. as indicated. This is Mildred. Grace's daughter. Okay. And we have under the massive windows a large table is set with a red tablecloth and a gorgeous arrangement of flowers. Place a search token. And we have across the ballroom a door leads to another room. Place an explore token as indicated. Okay. I'm going to move one space into the explored area. Let's see, this is me, right? Yep. Yeah. 
Hmm. <laughs> Next move. I kind of want to keep this child away from the piano, so I think I'll move over here. Okay. Silence the child. Yep. All right. Meet those. You shall not pass. Wrong. Um, yeah, it's close enough. Anyway. In fact, FFG has a license for Lord of the Rings stuff, so we it's not entirely games, yeah. unap inappropriate. <laughs> okay. We've done our turn, so we're going to end the investigator phase. Now the mythos. The old walls creak as the wind shifts, almost as if the building itself is alive. No immediate effect. Ooh. Which likely means it's going to have some crazy nasty effect later. Right. The app is doing something in the background that we'll find out about right. at some point, most likely. Yeah, normally this is where the... The walls of the lobby shudder, shaking the chandelier that hangs over the staircase. Mm -hmm. You hear a low growl echoing through the room. The people in the lobby might be in danger. No immediate effect. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. I want to bug this child. Bug the child. I'm going to bug the child. Turn order is... Whatever you want it to exactly. be. The girl sits, slowly playing from her sheet music. She looks like she has been crying. As you approach, she looks away shyly. What is the matter, child? Uh, handshake. Handshake. Oh, I'm not bad at handshake. Okay. All right, so it wants me to test my influence, which is a four on my character sheet here, uh, which means that I get to roll four dice, and I will tell the app I how many successes I got. Uh, I don't know how many I need to succeed. The app does not provide me with that information. It does not. Front. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two is usually good enough, so I'm not sure I want to spend my only clue on this. And also, the app keeps track of previous successes, so if you try the same action repeatedly and get at least a little further each time, you'll eventually get it. I'm just going to go with my two successes for now. Okay. Mildred wipes the tears from her eyes and begins spilling out a story with little room for breaths. Told you two is usually enough. Mm -hmm. Nanny Edna made me a pretty necklace, and then I had her make one for Mommy and Daddy and Grandpa and herself. And then Mabel wanted one, and then Mommy said Mabel cannot have one because she is imaginary. And then Mabel got really mad, and then Mabel took my necklace away. Gain one clue. Rut row. Rut row, Raggy. She stops to catch her breath and then looks up at you with a hopeful look in her eyes. Could you go make Mabel give my necklace back? She is hiding in my bedroom at the end of the upstairs hall. That's kind of scary. Mm hmm. Yeah, why do I feel like Mabel is some sort of eldritch terror or something? Right. Uh, let's see, what were your other options? Go to another room. Wait, if I hit that, do I just... I think you tell her to go to another room. Ah, oh, so you probably want to tell her to get out of the the main room because people oh, may be in danger yeah. there. Ha ha ha, clever, clever peach. Um, yeah, I think I'll just move over here to that search space there. Okay, well, on my turn, I guess I'll talk to Grace. Tell her to go to another room. Uh, ballroom? Because I don't know where the, what the attic is. Okay. <clears throat> Move Grace as indicated. So she's over here now. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to go up the stairs. To here. Okay. It was an action to move Grace. Yep. Stupid Grace. Right. Uh oh, and you're in the room. I am. Let's see what comes at me. You sure you don't want to explore there instead? You could have do, you could have doing that with your. <laughs> I'll I'll do that. <laughs> uh, doing that. All right. You hear the clinking of silverware and muffled Ooh, whispers. It. Explore. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. It is a the mansion's dining room is oh, a dining. long. You need dining room tile. I know. Yep. Dining room is a long room featuring a solid oak table lined with chairs. A swinging door leads into a kitchen.
Place the dining room tile and a wall as indicated, and discard any explorer tokens leading to it. Alright, so we're going to need a wall as well. Okay... It's not technically either of these, but... Whatever, I wonder if it's this one. Nope. Of course, uh -huh. it's the very last tile in the pile. Yeah, that's usually the way. Okay. Alright, so continue. A cabinet against the wall holds something that catches your interest. Place the axe, common item, as indicated. Ooh, an axe of chopping. Right there. Okay. From the kitchen you hear the clinking of cooking utensils and look to see two men hurriedly shoving things from the kitchen into a bag. Place a person token as indicated. Right here. At the, a door at the rear of the dining room leads deeper into the ground floor. Okay. Let me move one space into the explored area. I feel nervous running so far away from you so quickly. Yeah, this one seems to want us to separate though. This is a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Okay, so that was it for us, yeah? Yep. yep. Okay. End investigator phase. Sky on the horizon flashes briefly, and after a few moments you hear the distant rumble of thunder. No immediate effect. Phew. Hmm. So maybe we have a turn or whatever to clear the indicated room. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick up the axe. You're going to pick up the axe? Okay. And what else would you like to do? I guess go hang out with the dudes. Hanging out with the dudes. Uh, well, I guess I'll search my daily boob here. This circular table has been lavishly decorated with a tablecloth and flower arrangement. Okay. Something tells you to take a closer look. Crap! Eyeball is my worst thing. I'm good at eyeball. Yeah, well, you're not here. <laughs> yeah, you spin the clue for one. I'm going to look inside the vase. A bit of pollen causes you to sneeze. Perhaps <laughs> to avoid the flowers. Okay, well, let's try it again. Whoa. That was a better roll. You spot a glint of metal among the flowers and reach into the arrangement. Your hand wraps around the handle of a pistol hidden in the flowers. Gain the 45 automatic common item, then discard this search time. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth both my actions, but mm -hmm. the pistol is pretty beefy. Assuming we can find the pistol. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, let's continue on here. Alright, so that's it for us. We get another exciting mythos. End of investigator phase. Confirm mythos. Uh, hmm? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You go ahead and keep it. Uh, Father. Your father. I, I, it was indicating that you could point the camera over here oh. and continue doing what you were doing. <laughs> Uh, Father Mateo squints against even the weakest light, and the pain in his head throbs in time with his heartbeat. Strength, one. If he passes, the headache is just a distraction to work through. If he fails, he clutches his head and vomits violently onto the ground. Uh, yeah, so let's not do that thing. Nice. Let's roll one stupid success. Whew! Okay. He rolled exactly one stupid success. Alright. Oh, did you not put the wall token? Oh, no I didn't. Yeah, that was uh, over here, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, the shadows in the lobby come alive. Writhing tentacles of darkness burst from every corner and come together to form a beast that looms over the entire room. Each investigator in the lobby suffers horrible, terrible tragedies. 
uh, and must fight the thing. But no one no is one's there. In the, room. the monster stalks around the empty room, unleashes an angry howl that shakes the walls of the mansion, and then melds back into the shadows to continue stalking its prey. Each investigator suffers one face down horror. Well, but. What the heck? Stupid horror. Okay. The creature seems to be hunting the Beckmans. You have to keep them alive long enough to find a way to draw out the beast. Alright. Doing our best. The creature seems to be responding to the sounds being made around the mansion. You could probably attract it to specific rooms by making loud noises there. In the ballroom, a grand piano sitting on the dance floor could likely be used to attract the monster there. Place an interact token as indicated. But we sure don't want it there. An otherworldly wail emanates from the walls of the mansion, and in response to its master's call, a horrifying creature crashes through one of the ballroom windows. Spawn a Migo, as indicated. Grace flees from the creature, moving back to the lobby. Grace moves, as indicated. Gotta find Amigo, huh? Yep, I gotta find Amigo. Alright. Mildred lets out a small shriek and runs up the mansion stairs and out of sight. Remove Mildred from the board. Okay. Amigo moves two spaces towards the closest investigator. Then it attacks the investigator in space with the highest strength, which I would assume will be me, being the only one here. I'm, I'm in the... Creature leaps into the air and flutters towards you on chitinous wings, dropping down upon you with all of its weight. Strength 2. If you pass, you hurl the thing aside to the side while it chitters at you. If you fail, bad stuff. I don't know what Okay. Somehow I'm thinking there might be a fail in my... Hmm. <laughs> Looks that way. Okay. Blah, 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 suffer two damage and become restrained. Two damage. Restrained is in this pile. Wait, since it didn't say face down damage, I have to actually resolve these. Oh. Alright, this one makes me flip another damage card. Become restrained. Hey, look at that. So, nothing too terribly bad there. You cannot move voluntarily. End of your turn, disgrace. Okay, that's not so bad. Not yeah, so bad. You're gonna hang out and beat up the Migo Each anyway. Investigator must resolve a horror check. Oh, blah blah. Jeez Louise. Now I've got to do a horror check. Uh, working with practice speed, the thing strips apart a human head, distributing its various organs into a series of glass jars. Hmm. If you pass, you remind yourself that it's not. Anyone you know, because <laughs> that's the important part. <laughs> if you fail, the image burns itself in your brain, blah, blah, blah. But brain is actually something I'm good at. So. <laughs> that is just sad. That is pretty sad. Okay. Ah, yes, done with horror chicks. Right, and I think I'm going to shoot this thing in the face. Okay. Because I hate it. It is my most hate. You didn't Holy see Holy 12 freaking hit points. Wow. Great googly moogly. This thing's going to freaking kill me. Uh, okay. Well, let's uh, start shooting. Yeah. Or maybe I should spell it. Chances are spell would have me test attributes I'm better at than That's true. gun. Gun likes agility. Yeah, which I'm not the best at. But on the other hand, uh, I think I'll try spell the first time. Alright. Uh, blah, blah, three of the hex, book plus one. Monster suffers damage equal to your test result. Okay. Well, let's hope I have a good test result. Yes. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not quite what I was hoping for. Alright. So that's two damage. Plus your spell. Yeah. Which, if a wall much suffers one additional damage, then suffer one face down horror. Maybe you should have shot it. And then we'll shuffle up our shrivelings here. Yeah, maybe. But I'm going to try spelling it one more time, I think. Okay. Alright, alien words. The same blah, 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 book two. Okay, but this one's not plus one. I was going to say add two more extra dice if you'd suffered. Here's your other face down horror battle. Alright. Yeah, I should probably start shooting with that. Okay, and this time. Except for one face down horror. Good lord, I'm killing myself with this nonsense. Yeesh. Yeah, I'm gonna start shooting the thing if I survive another round. I think that's a good plan. Okay, uh, that would be you. Oh, yes, I would like to interact with people. Okay. Two men wearing smudged aprons argue <coughs> in quiet whispers as they shove cooking utensils into a worn canvas bag. I'm pretty sure I know who they are, so I'm going to go with what are you doing. The two men look up, noticing you for the first time. The first man speaks up. What does it look like? We are packing up our things and leaving before that thing gets us. The second man nods in agreement. It was in the same room as us. It looked right at us, but then went after the Beckmans instead. We might not get that lucky again. Why do you think it ignored you? What do we look like? Monster psychologists? So far it has only gone after the Beckmans and the girl's nanny. And we are getting out of here before that changes. If you want to know more, talk to old Richard. He has some crackpot theory about what is going on. Last I saw, he was heading to the lounge on the upper floor. Gained two clues. Man, I'm rolling in clues. Mm-hmm. The men finish packing and throw the bags over their shoulders. Good luck. You are going to need it. With a final glance over the kitchen, they hurry out the door. Discard this person. Okay, now what? Uh, I guess I'm going to move. Move away. Um, you know, I kind of want to explore the lobby some more. I kind of ran out of there. So back towards the lobby. Okay. Mythos. The door begins rattling and shaking. If someone or something on the other side is trying to get through, this Mythos event affects the investigator in a space with a door who has suffered the most horror. Uh, that would be you. As you have a door. So do you. Oh, Not actual space. space. <laughs> that would be me. I have a door. And I've suffered a horror. The door suddenly oh. flies open. Test wing two. Oh. If you pass, you jump back to avoid the door. But no one is there. If you fail, the door slams hard into your face and lands. I super fail. Suffer one damage and become dazed. But, so, uh, so it's not face down. I have to actually yeah. resolve the damage. Uh, grim resolve. The injury is serious, but you will not allow it to slow you down. Stakes are too high for that. Become focused. Then mm -hmm. flip this card face down. Neat. So I'm focused okay. and dazed. An amigo is attacking me. Crouch the land shit and play its shutter as it launches itself toward you. Testing a wing. Stop. If you pass, you scramble away. Dazed. Cool. I actually passed. What? As opposed to getting dead. Lucky. Alright, so now I get to do a horror check against the world's most terrifying Migo. Right. Alien fungus buzzes <clears throat> and flutters in a way that seems disturbingly familiar. For an instant, you remember lying on a cold steel slab. The creature above you, its claws gripping instruments red with your blood. <laughs> then the feeling passes. Suffer three horror, brain plus one negates. You were uh, I need more dice. By a fungus? I mean, that hardly counts. 
Wow. What? Wait. I had it. <laughs> so that's too horror for me. What? Are you I literally insane? rolled one success on six dice. And I have all the clues. I mean, jeez Louise. Can we get a puzzle? I'm good at puzzles. Okay. Well, that was exciting. Oh, I'm not restrained anymore, I guess. Yep. And now I'm going to pop some caps in this mega. Yes. Shoot it face Stupid off. Stupid spell. Aim at the... Oh, test brain! <laughs> it's otherworldly gaze catches your eyes, and the terrible reality... You know what? I'm just going to let you guys read yeah. this while I roll stuff. Uh, let's see brain. So my brain is fine. That's a, that's a straight up pass. So it takes damage equal to the weapon, which is four. Let's do it again. Hey. Aw, oh, this time it's win. Which is less likely to be a pass. Crap. Uh, do you have a reroll? What's your pocket watch do? Uh, puzzle steps. Oh, what's the lantern? Oh, the lantern. Let me convert magnifiers, but I ain't getting any. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. This freak, oh, no. This freaking Mego is gonna kill me. Alright, what would you like to do? I'd like to move into the lobby. Mm -hmm. And up the stairs. And I want to search the table. Okay. That's not the table. But Whatever. The photo photographs, yeah. You pick up a picture of the entire Beckman family on vacation. They are posed on the beach of a tropical island. Mildred, their daughter, is covered in sand and is proudly holding a piece of carven rock she dug up on the beach. Gain one clue, then discard this search token. Mm. Well, that solves it. That piece of rock was an ancient whoop de doople that... It was an egg, and it's mom has come looking for it. Monster egg. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's see if the Mego punches my face off. The light dies slowly. Place darkness in each space in the lobby. This okay. Mythos event affects each investigator in the lobby. That would be me. In the dark, you hear a strained sound, as if someone is being strangled. Oh, great. You fear you will soon feel cold hands around your own neck. Suffer so two face down horror brain negates. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, <laughs> but it's worth it for you. Yes. Does darkness do again? I have no Remember? idea. Maybe grab the book while I'm hitting buttons. Um. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> The walls of the lobby shudder, shaking the chandelier that hangs over the staircase. You hear a low growl echoing through the room. The people in the lobby might be in danger. Sorry about that. Uh, technical wife-based glitch. Yeah. Uh -huh. Migo is attacking me, shockingly. Sons of blah, 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 I'll let you read that. Hey, Brain! Brain is my friend. Brain is not that much of my friend, apparently. Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't roll enough. I get all five with yes. Brain. Crap and butts. Jeez Louise, two damage and one horror. Okay. Good Lord Almighty. This is going to be the shortest game of Mansion 2nd Edition. We are playing on oh. five. Shit, don't. Yeah, I... It's so hard to remember not to look at... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I think I grabbed is... the wrong book. Uh, let's see. Panic. Suffer one additional face down damage. Great. Uh, minor injury, no effect. And minor injury, no effect. Okay, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so let's see. I have one hit point and two sanity. Um, I'm doing good. I'm Wait, feeling good about see? this. Each investigator must resolve a horror check against yeah. the monster. Yep. Okay, 
blah blah blah, holds a jar in its claws, blah blah blah. Uh, let's see, mm -hmm. so for two okay. horror, brain minus one negates. Okay. So, Better? one horror. Oh. So now I literally have one sanity and one hit point remaining. <laughs> Good for me. Good for me. We did so win that last time we went insane. Uh, that's true. Okay. Wait, I I'm gonna shoot the stupid thing in the first. And this time it is going to die. Uh, test wing two, of course. Oh. Really? Alright, let's try this again. Aha! The brain two one. Okay, beautiful. Yes. Seriously? How? <laughs> what the crap? Wait, 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 wait. My kerosene lantern Bam. will actually fix this one. Yep. It turns my magnifiers into polar signs. So, the thing suffers like 80 XD 100 bazillion damage. That's the book I wanted. Jeez Louise. I feel like I leveled up after that. Right. Like I should get to discard all these awful cards because now I'm level two. But that would that's be not awesome. actually a thing. Right. That was my turn. What would you like to do? Figure out what darkness does. Oh right. I swear we've read this like twenty. Each of the Hindus. Oh. Cannot spend clues. Right. Can. Contains a lot. You have a light source. I do. Okay, so I ignore it. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That should do. Okay, so what would you like to do? Oh, well, I was going to go check out the table, but that seems silly when I'm right there with this. Explore. Let's explore. Okay. Besides, i got to get... Oh, crap! i got to talk to Grace. The door is not marked, but you believe it leads to the mansion's upper level. I think we're going to get Grace killed. Oh. Oh. I think we're gonna get me killed. Well, Grace is the hall one stairs and hall corner one. You find a short hallway that stretches through the upper level of the mansion, connected to one? the lobby by a large staircase. Yeah, hall corner one. Place the hall stairs, blah blah, blah and doors as indicated. Now uh, let's see. So this one's gonna go over here. Need a couple doors. Do you got some doors? <gasps> doors in there anywhere? Okay. Door. Yeah, it looks like it's not going to be a big one. The hall stairs. It looks. Yeah, like I know. I'm. Stairs. I'm looking there. Ah, yes, that looks right. Hall stairs, yeah. Okay. So it's gonna go here, and then I'll go here. And we've got our two doorways. Um, I feel that it was a mistake not to send Grace out of here. They're just like here and here, I think, but we'll confirm that in a second. Okay. A wretched groaning noise echoes down the length of the hallway. A dark shadow that seems to be just a trick of the light moves along the walls. Oh. But as it flies out of sight down the hallway, you hear the crash of a table hitting the floor. Then the shadow fades, leaving the hallway quiet and still. Place a search token as indicated. Way in the butt over there. At the top of the stairs, a locked secretary desk sits against the wall. Place a search token as indicated. Right about here. Okay. Several doors to other rooms of the house line the hall. Discard all explore tokens leading to the hall, then place explore tokens as in. Okay, so we've got one for this door, one for this door, one for this door. Got some more. We need some more. And we need another. And one for this door. Erg. There's not a door at the end of the hall. I don't know. The surrounding furniture could be used as a barricade. May move one 
space. No, I don't want to. No? I want to go tell Grace to get out of here. Oh crap, I can't. Yeah, it's an action. <sighs> well, I hope we have that extra turn leeway like we did last time. Then I guess I'll just move in there. Okay. Then what? Um, I'll move up a space. Okay. My fingers are crossed that Grace doesn't die. End investigator turn. Please don't die, Grace. A patch of deadly cold air blows Ooh. around Amanda Sharp, stealing her breath and cracking her joints. Amanda Sharp oh, suffers great. two damage, strength negates. Then she flips two horror face up. Well, then. I'm good. I'm Are good. You? I rolled three stars. My one horror. So I have to flip it twice? No, I don't think so. Oh! Horrific Arcana. Suffer one additional face down horror for each spell you have. Which is one. Which is one. So, yes, then you'll flip that new horror. Disoriented. Become dazed. Then flip this card face down. <laughs> okay. Dazed. Eh? That could have been worse. Weren't you dazed before? Yeah. But I didn't take it off when I should have, so I'll just leave it where it's at. All right, then. Ooh, I finally get to do something. Woo! You could tell her to get the butt out. <sighs> or you could play the piano! I'm gonna die. You could play the piano! Either way, I'm gonna die. If you play the piano, it'll lure the monster there instead of... One of those was an action, right? I wasn't yeah. paying enough attention. Yeah. So now here I sit in the lobby of Doom. I know, that's why I'm saying play the no piano. Freak. So should've... that it will come to my ballroom of Doom? You could have played the piano and then left the ballroom of Doom. With the actions I had. I could have gone two spaces, oh, no. played right. the piano. I'm, and... I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> um. Oh, shoot, I could instill bravery. I need to get over to you. So what you gonna do, kid? I already went. No, you didn't. Not this turn. We just started oh. a new turn. Okay, well, then I'm going to inspect the secretary. Desk? Yeah. Okay, the lid on the secretary desk Crap. seems to be stuck shut. Okay. Force the desk with your mighty strength. I just hope I roll like I did. Wait, wait. Do you have a crowbar? No. That's, That's re roll. Tilted. Yep. I'm also dazed and I can't use the clues. Darn. Well, you can't spend clues, but you could use your focused. Oh, I could. Okay. I'll do that. I'm dazed and focused. <laughs> well, it jiggles and squeaks, but it's still stuck. Do you want to okay. try again? Uh, sure. Force it over. Nope. That's unfortunate. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see how Time badly to watch you die. me die. The stress of this investigation is mounting beyond common tolerance. The Mythos event affects me. the investigator with the lowest brain. Me. That is true. It is definitely you. Me 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 me. Oh, strength. <laughs> okay. Am I still dazed? Yeah, until your next turn. Read the card. Mm, yeah, it does say. At the end of your oh. turn. Oh, well then. No, you're not. Uh, if you pass... So, so if I spend my clue token, I pass. Um, my hysterical laughter is barely contained between tightly clamped lips. Except for one face down horror. That's if I pass. So, yeah, face which down horror. Shadows in the lobby come alive. <gasps> Writhing tentacles of darkness burst from every corner. Blah, blah, blah. We've read this. Mr. in the lobby suffers two horror brain negates. Well, let's hope that my brain negates. I think you're literally crap. Nope. Nope. Why do they hate you? Nope. Uh, okay, so I'm officially insane. Okay, hold on. So you get all these back. Okay. 
And then I have to bite the creature. Okay, we gotta shuffle these. And of course, whispers in a bizarre tongue, so I need lore. Wow. Just, wow. Why? <sighs> There's your insanity. Suffer three horror. Okay. So this insanity has some special text on the back. I will not look. Ooh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and redraw this. Wait, we can? Well, no, but... Oh, yeah. That... Yeah, <laughs> would kind of oh, didn't I get this last time? Last kind time? of mess up our ability to do the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and redraw that. I'm not looking. If you would like to show, okay. Did you show? Okay. So there's that there, which is interesting. Could have been a lot worse. Okay. All right, and I am cuckoo bananas. If I reach my Horror limit again, I'm dead. Kerplute. Yeah. Okay. So I actually, you should come join me. Creature dissolves back into the shadows from whence it came, and the room falls into silence. Well, I'd really like to go explore over there, is what I would like yeah. to do. Yeah, but see, I can use my spell to discard a horror for you. Yeah, anyway. but I'm only at three at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here and explore. I've been wanting to do that since before the Mego assault. Brass plate with the word library. Okay. Okay. And it's, uh, as your eyes adjust to the dim light of the small room, you see the walls are lined with shelves of books. Discard this explore token and place the library tile as indicated. Library's got like a rug. Yeah, the, a lot of them have rugs. Uh, hallway two, hallway one, hallway three, hallway four, storage, bathroom. Did you look at the other side of I storage? I did. Okay. Entry hall. Outdoorsy stuff. I'm pretty sure that's all call a Wait, library. Oh. Okay. Uh, so library goes like a dis. Like a dat. And then we've got a search tone. It appears that someone was reading in the far corner of the room recently and has left a couple of books open on the floor. Please search tone. Several books sit on the writing desk beside an item that might be of use. Place the medical textbook common item as indicated. That one's actually pretty cool. I hope so. I need some cool. So, uh, when you or another investigator within range may discard one face down damage. Is that right here? Uh, no, it's right okay. here. And then there's an explorer here because there's a secret trap door under the rock. <gasps> and I move here. <laughs> That was so do one. I dare explore the rug? Well, I her do. book is in the basement. Yeah, book's in the basement. That's why I'm doing it. The corner of the rug has been pulled back, revealing a trapdoor. Actually, if you say secret trapdoor, Phil is like You open to the trapdoor and you discover a dark passage that winds under the floor. You lower yourself into the passage, follow it a short distance, and climb a ladder leading to another room of the mansion. Discard this explore token and place a secret I passage just saw as that. indicated. Ah, secret passage. Oh, that token. Never mind. I got all excited. Because I actually... Uh, oh, what? Uh. You peer into a sizable room that dominates most of the second floor. The room is full of comfortable looking leather furniture. And lamps for reading. Place the lounge tile as indicated and discard any explore tokens leading to it. We need a lounge, which is a big honker. Is this our lounge? lounge? Yep. I was going to say, it's got the half circle rug and everything. And all the couches. So I'm guessing my passage just took me to this lounge. 
which is right next to me. It is. Too bad it's not okay. to a basement. There's more tokens leading to it. An elderly man sitting amidst piles of books jumps at the sight of you. Heavens, you startled me. He idly tucks a green necklace back into his shirt as he regains his composure. Place a person token as indicated. This is Richard Grace's father-in-law. Ah, Richard Beck. Yep. They actually have their names on the back. It's kind of cool. Spot Mildred playing on some of the couches. Place Mildred as indicated. Okay. On an end table in the corner, you spot a bell normally used to summon servants. You could likely use it to attract the monster here. Place an interact token. Once you kick everybody out of there. And then we get in the corner of the lounge, a small door leads to a side room. Place an explore token. Pull yourself up into the room, careful of the trap over behind you. So your passage in it. Okay, so the secret passage I come out of is here. Okay. All right, well, beautiful. So I think we'll go ahead and end gameplay part one right here. Um, we'll probably keep filming some more of this. Um, I suspect we'll just continue from right here, but you know, give us a chance to get a drink and go pee and those necessary functions and such. And uh, y'all can join us as soon as you're ready. All right.